How do you feel about Chief Master Sergeant Etchberger being awarded the Medal of Honor? 42 plus years too goddamn late. Should have happened 42 years plus ago. And he should have got a damn 55 gallon drum full of them if he wanted them. We got up on the hill and commenced doing our job, which was dropping bombs on enemy positions. We would get orders fragged, uh, a certain target to drop whatever aircraft we had, maybe it was an F-105, uh, an F-4, whatever. We was to drive them to a point in space, have them release their bombs, and they would hit the target. March the 10th, we were dropping bombs. We uh, dropped all we had fragged for a while. We had a hole. We decided we'd have dinner. Well, I happened to be our shift cook, and I said, well, what do you want, fellas? They said, steak. We got steaks? And I said, yeah, we still got steaks. Well, let's cook some steaks. And I said, okay, we'll go down and get the grill started. So we go down there to the area and fire the barbecue grill. And then Bill Blanton, he had been down at the, at the uh, CIA compound. He came back up and he said, fellas, we got to have a little briefing up here. And we went on up into the equipment. And uh, he said, we're in, we're in bad shape, fellas. We're in, we're in trouble. We're in dire straits. He says, I don't know whether we can get out or not. Perhaps we can get one or two choppers in tonight. And perhaps we can't. There was a rocket attack and hit the barbecue grill. Huh, good thing we had a briefing, huh? Yeah. We didn't get any steaks ever anyhow. <laughs> but we wouldn't have been there to cook them if we'd have been there trying to cook them. Lots of grenades and small arms going off during the night. And said, uh-oh, that's it, fellas. And about that time, well, we started receiving small arms fire. Somebody had seen us. Well, Gish got hit. I guess Monk got hit about the same time. So uh, they kind of, nobody else got hit right then. Kind of drove them off, we did, you know, firing back at them. So pretty soon somebody else come down firing, or maybe more of them, I don't know. So Gish took another round. His was fatal. I got hit in both legs. Stan got hit, and Monk was gone. Whether he got hit again or he was already gone, Stan said he's gone. So that left Stan alive, me alive, and Dick alive. And we didn't hear anything out of Stan. We thought he was dead, too, after that. We thought it, it had killed him. And I'm sitting down about four from here to the gentleman from Dick, and I said, Dick, is anybody alive? And he said, I don't think so, John. I said, what do we do? He says, you got the radio, call them. Bring some aircraft in here. Tell them to keep their ordnance on the hill. Well, he couldn't, at that time, didn't want to expose himself and run 15 yards down and, and get the radio and do it himself, you know. So we called them in on top of us. And they had uh, a flight of aircraft in the area. We called them the Sandys. There was A1Es. And they come in, we told them to keep all their ordnance on top of the hill. Anything that moved was theirs. Nobody alive except me and Dick. We will come to find out we were wrong, but at that time we didn't know it. So keep your ordnance on top. And they kept replacing uh, uh, aircraft with others that had fresh loads of weapons and bombs. And their guns were full. Well, a little after daylight, or just at daylight, why... Uh, an Air America chopper seen us and came in and hovered down over the top of us. Well, at that time, Dick broke cover and come down because I couldn't move. And he took my radio and was there and got me loaded on the sling, got me loaded up in there. Well, Stan came to while I was going up, woke up, I guess uh, heard the extra racket or something, and he got up in there. And uh, Dick got him loaded. Well, Dick was ready to go, and lo and behold, at that time, Willie Husband come running down there. He had been playing dead up around some other people that we didn't even know, and surprising that he didn't get hit with any of the weapons, you know, but he didn't. He was okay. So he and Dick went up in the sling together the last time. They wrapped their arms around each other and went up in one trip. We got there in the chopper, everybody, and they started lifting off. And when it broke cover down, it had been kind of behind the equipment, you know, where they couldn't see it. It broke cover. Somebody woke up and emptied a, 
his AK in the bottom of the aircraft, and they say one round hit Dick in the butt, and he bled to death before we got back to the next landing site. I was out of it then. I'd blacked out, moving me up there, and, and you know, I, I was completely unconscious there after we got on the chopper till we got into the next plane. They got us transferred to a fixed wing, and that's when I found out he was dead. I said, hell, he hadn't been injured. He hadn't been shot. How's he dead? I said, one round got him after you lifted off. 